Howdy folks, Tom Barbelay here. I was doing a podcast today with Anton Mikhailov, and uh, I was saying all the stuff that I'm doing with Sim Line currently, and uh, obviously I don't have video to back it up. What? No internet? Aye. This is what happens when you do a podcast with someone, you forget to turn the internet back on afterwards, and you're like, oh, I'm going to record a video showing all this cool stuff. Anyway, so... There are going to be web pages around this, as there are with Tim C Line, but here we go. Um, this is the landing page for. Um, there were two simulations, one called Urban, one called War. Put the two of them together and created this directory, and it contains things like the map editor, for example, uh, for C Line. So, the interesting part initially is that I've made sure that the uh, output of, of a few places is kept here so you just click the downloads or you can click browse actually why not click browse click browse here and you get to see the output files and you get to see how slow png is which i think we did last time but anyway so basically everything is everything and it shows you the linking uh landscapes and there's also a map editor as well which uh i'm working on and it uses the same internals basically so it's all together as one but if you get the map editor uh, which i probably should do while i'm demoing this thing let's see if i can do it in somewhere close to to real time why aren't we this is what happens so i'm also writing a book in parallel <laughs> really a series of books a series of chapters uh in parallel with this thing so there'll be a lot of text and i'm probably i need to float a website as well so the map editor is particularly cool because you can't actually see what I'm doing with the map editor currently. Uh, because historically, and this is where I... What am I trying to do? No, why is it... No. Anyway, the map editor is particularly interesting because uh, you just drag and drop files and it has processing and... I probably should have gotten all this stuff <laughs> together at this time. I'm like, yeah! I've got this song in the back of my head, which I always have when I do these kind of things, which is um, the Soul Solid Crew, I think it's called 29 Seconds to Go, which was a song while I was in the UK. So the map editor, with a bit of luck, is all drag and drop. Um, so hopefully this will come up somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Um, so like the files, you just drag and drop the JSON into it. It combines the... Uh, JSON and the uh, PNG file. So you get the combination of both of them. Oh, look at my wonderful code. Probably scaring most of you now. Let's just move that out of the way. Uh, and you can drag and drop the editor. So you take files from the JSON and you drag and drop them into this once it's running. There we go. It's up and running. Let's find a file to drag and drop into it. So... examples it's has it got a png and yes it's a png json so you take the examples let's say uh let's say not northwest london because it's huge let's say folkestone so we take folkestone json we drag it into the map editor it was a little bit and there you see and normally you will edit this map the editor part i'm still working on the details associated with some components lines to work on the details but yeah this is basically what it looks like vector wise and let's find a bigger map a more interesting map one that we can talk through um south end's pretty cool so you can drag and drop south end in blah, blah, blah. let's png hopefully load south end there we go and you can see the problem here is that the algorithm has picked up the words it's being buildings and missing other buildings so the map editor is uh, coming up also. Basically, that's what I'm working on, is to get the agent simulation sufficient to um, from maps on it, uh, or get the maps from it. So I quit the map editor, and I'll show you in this code. So map editor, here we go. Uh, where are we? Map editor. So you can run the original war simulation if you want. You could also run the urban simulation as well which still has the Mushroom Boy directory. Probably going to clean that up at some stage. And this will show you, what are we at, two. Okay, so it's not going to be a huge map. 
but this is still the simulation that is behind the underlying stuff. And I even have colouring, so it looks like the older one, but I don't have that up there. Anymore. And you can uh, make this as big as you like, basically. So here we have, let's zoom in a little. Here we have the individual buildings. You can see the windows here, uh, doors, an overlay stuck in the wall. <laughs> but anyway, no, no, these are numbered, actually. I think that's what the these things represent, is actually perhaps the number. Um, but anyway, so this is the view of the simulation is the urban simulation uh, with the overlaps wandering around relatively slowly and you can zoom it down, you can twist it around, it's got all the good graphical stuff that you'd want. And the aim is to take the PNG maps with the overlays looking like the real places and then run a simulation where the little red dots are moving all over it. We'll probably have little red dots and little blue dots eventually, but little red dots initially. And that's the aim. That's where things are currently. And like I say, all integrated, all um, GitLab doing output and a wide variety of stuff. But yeah, this was just a fast run through of what it looks like currently.